right, first round, what's going to happen? Blocks the jump in. Goes for the throw. Was well in range to score the throw. It's the start of the round. How will they start their approach? Decides to go in with the target combo. Trips him up. Player one creates a good corner opportunity. Buy some time by driving them into the corner. And now they can create some big chances to do damage here. The jump in is denied. Oh, easy tech. Player one has them legit shook in the corner. Okay, both fighters have taken a long step back. They're both looking to reassess the fight. Player one is in burnout. Drives off the table. Not much drive to work with at the moment. The quarter makes it hard to escape. What'll be the setup here? All right, what's coming up next? Quick dashing! Solid comp. KO! Player two takes That's the round right. like a thief in the night. What else can they get away with? Round two. Fighting that drive gauge. Who's going to start things off? Jagabon and Sam heats it up with a combo into Super. Comes crashing down on them with some pushing beat. Player smart play to stop the opponent there. And that counter's got to rattle them. Player one holding on to that corner advantage. Barely blocks the jump in. Going in. Big opportunity coming. Oh, burnout activates. Both of our combatants are cooking up something. Blocks it. Big throw. Player one with clutch, clutch as I am. Ugh, this is a complete shutdown. They can't escape. Closes it out. This is the final round. Expect to see some fireworks. That is it of OD Spice. Jumps up. Good job escaping that dangerous corner situation. Does a good job escaping the corner. Connects with the throw. Both fighters have a full super meter on deck. The winner will be the one who manages it best. Player one with the rhythm owning that space. Taking chunks out of each other here. Saw it all. What a throw is denied. Escapes the corner. Burns out. Player one, draw super art incoming. Both sides getting ready. Send it all up on super. Not shy one bit about it. Amazing. Player two still has a chance, but it's going to be an uphill battle. Tons of space between the fighters now. What are they cooking up? Goes out there. Immaculate counter. Play one. Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. Ops for the throw. Goes for the throw. Clear that neither of them wants to be in the corner. Does not want to get stuck in the corner. Player one has them legit shook in the corner. Now they get pushed into the corner, where it's going to be very difficult to escape. And a super activation. Looking to score some juicy damage. With the life gap opening up, they need to lean hard on their drive use. At this range, many attacks can connect if you stick something out. The neutral game is very important here. Fantastic reaction there. In a dire situation, they can't afford any mistakes. Yet so. Player one picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. How will they take advantage of everything that's happened up until now? Overhead. The quarter makes it hard to escape. What'll be the setup here? Player one has a slight life lead. There's been some back and forth, but no one has dominated the fight. Player one, if you all put that away, sends a clear message with that counter. Gotta be careful not to whiff at this range. Shows a medium kick. Jumps. Goes for the jumping. Player two is barely hanging it, uses the gig for a super arm. Going by normal theorem with a full shot grab. With breathing, kept her composure and pulled out the combo and Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. Puts one in the pocket. They're not gonna allow any jump-ins. Wow, shut down. Pressuring them in the corner. Player two has them legit shook in the corner. All right. 
decides to buff up while they can. Throws them to negate the block. They're barely hanging in there. And they get them. Player two on the board first with the win. They'll want to keep the pressure on. Slides and goes for the legs. Slips the grab. Strings it all together. Throws up to find the open. Player two needs to get them with a stop and bomb. Player two holding on to that corner advantage. Gotta be careful not to whip at this range. Blocks. Blocks the overhead. Barely blocks the jumping. The life remaining tells us we're halfway through this match. What's going to happen here in the latter half of this round? Another one edge connect. Ooh, what a smart blow. Both sides getting ripped. Drop them. Player one can't you drive in back misses. This they turn to. Oh my God, they just choked it up. Player one, what a finish. This is the final round. Expect to see some fireworks. Final round. Final. Open with a jump in? What? What? That's I air. Goes with the safe stuff with that. Sets up with the jump in. Blocks the low kick. Wall flat into the guard break. Like burns out. Player two. Oh, putting the cherry on top. Blue shades grabbing. No, I saw this in Shibuya one night. Reads the jump in perfectly. Grabs him from above. Player two still has it. Drives it back. Misses. Doesn't set the throw. Kimberly. Got to hand it to both of our fighters. Oh, one. Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. The throw hits. Now the fun begins. Was well in range to score the throw. It's the start of the round. How will they start their approach? Pressuring them in the corner. Try some time by driving them into the corner. And now they can create some big chances to do damage here. Player one in that dangerous burnout state. Great work finding the opening. Player one is maintaining the corner position for some juicy damage. This is the range where things get messy. Can they utilize their reach or bait each other out? Heading into the end game now, it's getting tense. What a finish. Great meet on the life gauge there. Player one on the board first with the win. They'll want to keep the pressure on. Gets a risky pop in. From up above. Drag a bond and send them flying. Uses the gauge for a super arc. Ooh, Bushin Scramble's gonna leave them hurt. Now, can they finish the job? Goal starts to fight them open. Rushes that off and keeps going. Picks up the counter. This is going to be huge. Jumps in. Genius read. This is gonna be bad news. It's a good spot to use the super. Comes crashing down on them with the pushing beat. Experiencing burnout. Player two, hey, oh. Player one brings it home. Let's see if they can build themselves a streak. All right, first round. What's going to happen? Locks the jump in. Now they get pushed into the corner, where it's going to be very difficult to escape. Player one with the life lead. They've got a small life lead, but it's not over. Decides to go in with the target combo. All right, what's coming up next? The player two is maintaining the corner position for some juicy damage. This is a real back and forth match for scene. They definitely know what the other is capable of. Hmm, taking stock. This is the range where things get messy. Can they utilize their reach or bait each other out? Somehow pushes back all the way to center stage. The jump in is denied. Picks the drive reversal. Hidden variable? Connects with medium kick. KO. Player one on the board first with the win. They'll want to keep the pressure on. Medium kick. Who's going to start things off? Backs away. Not about that BFF life right now. Throw leaves them wide open. Hits them with his free flow. Fights out of the corner, back to the center of the stage. 
quick breather. Full SA meters on deck for both sides. This could be over soon. This is where smart meter management is going to come into play. Our fighters will need to tread carefully. Player one has an empty drive here. They're going for the super arc? That's not gonna hit. Here we go. Uses the game for the super. They're not going around here. Land the super. Time for dessert. Looking sets up with the jump in. Closing moments of goes out of sight. Player two can't use and what a finish. Player two, this is going to be a must see match. Here we go. What are these fighters going to do? Definitely shuts out the jump in. Locks the jump in. Okay, we're in the early stages of the round. Trip them up. Cross up blocked. Track that jump nicely. Player one with the life lead. Okay, both fighters have taken a long step back. They're both looking to reassess the fight. Gets a normal hit from the driver. They're still good. Hmm, taking stock. Gets the jump in. Decides to spend the perfect. Takes the round without getting touched. Player one tips up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. How will they take advantage of everything that's happened up until now? Drive rush. Gets in their face. Okay, so you can use drive rushing just like that to launch attacks from much further away. Hit them with a stop and block. Player two will need to play it conservative until they drive refresh. They're experiencing burnout. Quick breather. Player two will have to deal with this dangerous bout of burnout for a while. This is gonna hurt. Connects with the throw. Are we gonna got him up against the wall and the stunt is there? What a finish! Player one. Here we go. What are these fighters going to do? The combo's there. Player one has them legit shook in the corner. Solid combo. The quarter makes it hard to escape. What'll be the setup here? Time to do some damage after that wall splash. Adds on a bit extra to that to make sure the opponent walks away with a full plate. The pressure is so intense here. Player two may be just about done this round, but they still have a chance at the full drive gauge to tap into. Reacts to the throw. Finishing with the overhead. Nicely read. Player one picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Round two. Fight. Opts to create space to start. How will they take advantage of everything that's happened up until now? Corso Cleaver dices him. Player two creates a good corner opportunity. Big chance here to do some damage if they can keep the corner pressure up. Player one holding on to that corner advantage. Uses the target combo as a fill -in. Ends the meter, hoping for a good return. Oh, no question whether this super art is going to kill him. Perfect KO. They were in full control there. Kimberly. That was a clinic on how a solid neutral game wins matches. On top of this fight. The fight's now underway. This is vicious with the play-by-play. -play. Starts with a jump in. Deals some sick damage there in exchange for some meter. Was that a good decision? Player two creates a good corner opportunity. A big drive gauge disparity has opened up, and it wouldn't surprise me if they try to open that gap further. Player two has them legit shook in the corner. Uncomfortable space here. Can they clip each other on the edge? Player two is going to have a hard time managing their drive. Holds out with a block. Just out of range for that throw. We're near the end of the round. Can either fighter pull a rabbit out of their hat? Takes a big gamble and rips out a raw super. Starting something with the super. Will that super be the turning point? Very solid corner switch. Life lead opens up. Wraps it up with the drive impact. Player two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Ooh, it looks like they're waiting to see what the opponent wants to do first. The jump in is denied. 
Things are slow going right now, but we may see someone speed things up soon. Player two has the meter lead. With this kind of gauge gap, they'll want to think about when to use it and not be trigger happy. Player one needs to deal with this burnout. Oh, can they survive this badly timed burnout? Decides to meet them in the air. This is the range where things get messy. Can they utilize their reach or bait each other out? Barely blocks the jump in. Blocking a jump in attack means you're at a disadvantage, so they should be looking to anti air instead. Hit them with a stop and bop. Player one will need to play it conservative until their drive refreshes. Stuck in the corner, but not going down without a fight. Knockdown and KO. We're going into the final round tied up. Which fighter has it in them to grind out the win? Checking their reaction with a fireball? Shows a medium kick. This can lead to some big damage. Dragon Ball forever. Super hard to show up what a PXDX fighters can do for you. Hits them with a blue chip sample. Nine to five work damage income. Walls flat into the guard face. Player one can't use drive anymore. Ooh, what a smart blow! Both sides getting wrecked, it turns out! Player 2 can't win this without pulling the trigger! Perfectly executed! Both fighters will need to bring their A-game to the table. Alright, first round, what's going to happen? Jump in finds the mark. The combo's there. Decent damage. What's next? Lots of aggression from both sides. Alright. Hits with the overhead. Solid combo. Player one chases them down. Adds a little super juice into this combo for more damage. Ooh, yep, they saw a path and they took it. Player one picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. How will this impact things? Long low attack hits. Smart stuff, poking at that range to zone the opponent. Uses a long range attack there to zone them perfectly. Blocking that drive attack isn't going to work. Bushin Beats assaults them from the air. He comes crashing down on them with some Bushin Beats. Player one needs to use the threat of brushes that off and keeps going. Play experiencing burnout. Both fighters planning something? Both fighters are out of drive. Might be a good idea to back off, but they might try something here. Can they create an opportunity for themselves to seal the game there? Player one was an absolute beat. Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. Waiting for the opponent to make the first move. Good anti-air. Solid anti-air will shut down the opponent's air game and make it much harder to jump in. Deals some damage with that quick combo. Reads their mind and texts the throw. Brushes off the throw. Uncomfortable space here. Can they clip each other on the edge? Finds the time to squeeze in a buff. Adds a little super juice into this combo for more damage. Starting something with the super. Backs them into the corner. Not having the cross up. Can't tech the throw. Takes a trip. Anticipated that counter and blocks. In a dire situation. KO. Player one takes the round like a thief in the night. What else can they get away with? Nails the anti-air. Sticks the combo. Hits them with a stop and pop. Dragabond and Shep sends the meter. Hoping for a good return. Comes crashing down on them with some Bushin beats. Player two is in a pretty good situation with a meter advantage. What separates the good from the great in this game is smart gauge management. Player one will have to deal with this dangerous route of burnout for a while. Out of drive game, now's the time. Knew the throw was coming. Protect your neck. Here's the old put that away. Oh man, this is a scary ring. Closes with the throw. Hitting him with a smart stuff. Player one brings it home. Let's see if they can... The fight's now underway. This is vicious with the play by play. Player two pushes the opponent into the corner. Player two has them legit shook in the corner. Knockdown. 
Lots of aggression from both sides. Up for the throw. Knockdown. Both fighters at 50% health. Player 2 has used up all of the... And a super activation. Looking to score some juicy damage. If they can't escape this rock solid corner pressure, this round is over. Jump! Watch the KO! Player one picks up the always important first round. They'll want to keep the ball rolling. Oh, it looks like they're waiting to see what the opponent wants to do first. Good job blocking the jump in. They're showing us just how patient they can be. Blocking a jump in attack means you're at a disadvantage, so they should be looking to anti air instead. Play nice counter. What a clean counter. Player one will have to deal with this dangerous bout of burnout for a while. Goes for the throw. Both fighters planning something? Player one holding on to that corner advantage. Slides and goes for the won't play their game. Says no with the overdrive. Penta gets the counter hit for the win. They're so good at whiff punches. That was a clinic on how a solid neutral game.